My name is Adam Nicholl, former jump jockey, now dual purpose trainer based in Seahouses. Well, the last two years, I actually had quite a lot of injuries. I broke my back and I broke my femur. In racing, things happen fast, you're soon forgotten. And I just thought, I'd always had it in the back of mind the last couple of years to think about training here. I didn't want to turn into someone that was just driving here and there for one ride and for people to start saying, oh, he's struggling. So we had the facilities here at home and we set up training. We went to Tats 2020 and we had a list of horses, maybe 30 to look at. And it was getting towards the end of the day actually and there was only a handful left. And Marcus Colley, who was a bloodstock agent, he bumped into Tom Clover and spoke to him. And Tom actually said, we've got a horse here that has got ability, but um, he needs a change of scenery. We went and looked at him. We just thought, well, it's getting the end of the day, so we better watch this lad go through. And couldn't believe it when there was hardly any bids and that's when the hammer went down for 7,000 guineas. Hi, I'm Jenny. I'm now assistant trainer and partner of Adam Nicholl. We're incredibly lucky to have found him. Obviously, thanks to Tom Clover, Marcus Colley. Tom was so honest with us about him and knew that there was something there, but he obviously just wasn't enjoying the new market way of life. For him to win his first race was a massive buzz. For him to come second over hurdles was brilliant as well. You know, we thought, oh, well, we've got something. You know, he's shown promise but to go on and done what he's done and then to go on and be second in the Cigaro Stakes more recently, it, it's just an absolute dream. A big run from Wise Eagle, disputing second with the strong finishing El Habib. He's clearly had the ability, he'd won a race at Lingfield over a mile for Tom, so he clearly had ability. I think it was just mentally, it was, it was a mental thing with this horse. I think a combination of turnout, which you can see he's got now, gets that every day for an hour or so after his exercise, but it, going on the beach. I think going on the beach, in the sea, it's something totally different that he'd, he'd never done in his, in his life. And on the beach, it's different. You, you can literally get chased by a dog or he spook at some seaweed or he's in the sea playing. I used to say I was a syndicate, six lads in the village. Some of them's never had a horse before and they just think it's fantastic. They went to Ascot there for that last run they'd never been before and they just they said it was amazing. The facility is just fantastic and they've had days out with Chester, York, Newcastle Plate Day. Since we've had him he's won about £150,000 prize money so the lads think it's easy. I'm hoping there's going to be a bigger field so they go a better gallop. It got a bit tactical the last day with only, I think it was five or six runners was then. It got a bit tactical, they didn't go that quick. Obviously Wise Eagle, he has one turn of foot so you've literally got to You've got that one shot at timing it. Wise Eagle, who's won 10 times in the last couple of years. I do think he'll stay. He's going to have to around there over two and a half in that grade. It's, you know, there's no hiding places there. We know luckily we'll hopefully get Danny for the Gold Cup. And I think that counts for a lot, knowing the horse, knowing him especially, because he knows that he's just got that one turn of foot and he's going to have to time it right. It would just be a great story, I think, wouldn't it? I've had a lot of people saying, you know, it's, it's, it's a great, it's a great, he's been a great following gone from a note to 65 at Catrick, bought for 7,000 guineas, so he's now rated 107. And here we are today, we've never looked back.